Spotify did raise the price, remember, of its single premium account to $10.99 per month back in July. Joining us first on CNBC is Spotify Chief Financial Officer Paul Vogel. Paul, welcome back. Nice to see you. Great. Thanks for having me. So I think what the market likes here is the fact that you were able to do the cost discipline without sacrificing growth. But we really did see a big, a big change in the share price after the conference call. What happened? Yeah, so I'd say a couple of things. One, if you, if you take a step back for us, it's been a really phenomenal quarter and a really phenomenal year. And so coming into the year, um, we've exceeded all of our expectations. So uh, we exceeded on the quarter our monthly active user growth. We exceeded expectations on our subscriber growth. Our revenue was in line. Our gross margin was better. We had an operating profit, which was amazing. But if you look at it in the totality of the year, you look at our guidance for Q4 and where we expect to end the year, We'll add over 100 million monthly active users uh, in for this year, which is the largest year we've ever had. We'll add over 30 million subscribers this year, which is the second largest year we've ever had. And when we started the year, I think what's really important is we talked about this ability for us to sequentially improve gross margins throughout the year. And we've seen that. We saw that in Q1, Q2, Q3, and now we're forecasting that again uh, for Q4. And with that has now come uh, more efficiency for us. We're seeing that resulting in strong bottom line numbers. So we had a, an operating profit this quarter. And importantly, we also had really strong free cash flow. So we generated over 200 million of free cash flow in the quarter. So I think it's been the combination of our ability to be more efficient as a company, really start to see the benefits of the business. But that has not come with anything other than continued strong user growth and subscriber growth. So we're getting the top line growth. We're continuing to invest in the business. But we're also seeing improvements on the margin side, both the gross margin uh, and the operating margin. I think that's what did it. That's what got investors excited on the call, the margin improvements and the fact that you're guiding for it again in Q4. So are you at the point now, Paul, where, where it's sustainable, where you can see sustained operating income profitability? Yeah, we believe we are. We do believe that this is an inflection point for us. Um, in any quarter, you never know what can happen. So I, I will never say never. But, you know, I, we do expect that we are in a position now where we'll continually have quarterly profits. We'll continue to be in the black. And I think for us, what's really important is we've talked about as a company, we, we believe we have a great product. We think consumers think we have a great product. And we've wanted to prove out that we can also become a great business. So we've really focused as a business on how do we continue to innovate? How do we continue to invest? But do it in a way where we're more efficient and it results in being a great business. And so I think what's been really exciting for us is you're starting to see that, right? You've continued to see the strong user growth and subscriber growth, and you're seeing that margin improvement. In, and yes, I think most, uh, most investors weren't looking for us to turn a profit in Q3 or Q4. So it's exciting that we'll do it in both Q3 and Q4, uh, and we expect that cont to continue into 2024. I think the other outperformance came on monthly active users and subscriber numbers, even into a price hike. So give us a little color about what you're seeing as far as those higher prices and, and what behavior looks like coming out of them and whether you have more pricing power. Yeah, so we've been very pleased with uh, how the price increase has gone. Uh, so for us, when you think about a price increase, um, we're really looking at two main factors, right? One is what's going to happen to churn, and is churn going to go up, so are subscribers going to leave? But the second important one is also gross additions. So are more users going to come in or not after the price increase? And so we've, we have raised prices in the past, and typically when, when we've raised prices, we've seen very little impact at all on churn. It's been pretty minimal. We had a similar sort of forecast for this quarter, and that's what happened. Our churn came in right in line with expectations. What was really exciting was our gross additions actually outperformed expectations. And so we saw basically no real change on the churn side, uh, and we saw um, an acceleration in the gross additions, really strong gross additions, and that led to the outperformance on the subscriber side.